Looks like he's gone for good this time. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. The closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. You know, on second thought, maybe it would be safer if we did stick together. At least until we reach Riverwood. Listen, you should go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. We could really use someone like you. And if the rebels have themselves a dragon, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. See that ruin up there? Bleak Falls Barrow. When I was a boy, that place always used to give me nightmares. Draugr creeping down the mountain to climb through my window at night. That kind of thing. I admit, I still don't much like the look of it. These are the Guardian Stones. Three of the thirteen ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead, see for yourself. Warrior. Good. I knew you shouldn't have been on that cult the minute I laid eyes on you. Listen, as far as I'm concerned, you've already earned your pardon. But until we get that confirmed by General Tullius, just stay clear of other Imperial soldiers and avoid any complications, alright? of that. I'm glad you decided to come with me. We're almost to Riverwood. Things look quiet enough here. Come on, there's a my own. dragon! Uncle. I saw a dragon! What? What is it now, Mother? It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It, it flew Uncle right Alvaro. over the Hello. barrel. Dragons now, is it? Advar. Please, Mother. What are if you, you keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. And I've got better things to do than listen what to more of your you, fantasies. You are you in some it kind of sub? Keep your voice It'll down. I'm all, fine. But we should me. go inside to talk. What's going on? And who's this? He's a friend. Saved my life, in fact. Come on, I'll explain everything, but we need to go inside. Okay, okay, come inside then. Sigrid will get you something to eat, and you can tell me all about it. Sigrid, we have company. Hadvar, we've been so worried about you. Come, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Now then, boy, what's the big mystery? What are you doing here looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear? I don't know where to stop. You know I was assigned to General Tullius' escort. We were stopped in Helgen when we were attacked by a dragon. A dragon? That's... ridiculous. You aren't drunk, are you, boy? Husband, 
Let him tell his story. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. I need to get back to Solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. But I need your help. We need your help. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. How do I get to Whiterun from here? Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. When you get to Whiterun, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's Palace. What can you tell me about Riverwood? Gerder's family first settled here as woodcutters a few generations ago. She and Hod run the mill. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. Do you have any supplies I could take? Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. Help yourself to whatever you need, within reason. Farewell, kinsman. Did you really see a dragon? What did it look like? Did it have big teeth? Well, I don't better get back to work. You two make yourselves at home.
You handle yourself well. You could make for a decent shield brother. What is a shield brother? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the Companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Can I join you? Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlac Whitemane up in Yurvaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Suit and all. Just look like a lorious farm. The fool had a coffin and a cart with a broken leg like to see him laugh his way out of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, sounds like you've had quite the journey. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Riverwood calls for the Jarl's aid. Riverwood's in danger too? You better go on in. You'll find the Jarl in Dragon's Reach, at the top of the hill. Pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. What have you got for sale? Take a look. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. I will thank you not to interrupt me in my tasks. of Skyrim, the future of Damriel, and there it is, friends, the ugly, the art of the man, Thanos is the true God. from Helgen is true. Well, there's no telling what it means. My lord, please, you have to listen. Well, 
I trust you have something vitally important to tell me. Important enough to interrupt me in the middle of council? I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. You were at Helgen when it was attacked? You saw this with your own eyes? I only counsel caution. We cannot afford to... I was there. I saw the dragon burn Helgen to the ground. If the news from By Helgen is true... Mere Ireleth well, was right. There's no telling what it means. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength Did of our walls? Need something? Against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... The Jarl of Falkreath will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... Enough! I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Ireleth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps? Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and... Rumors of dragons. Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me? Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. What does this have to do with dragons? Ah. No mere brute mercenary, but a thinker. Perhaps even a scholar? You see, when the stories of dragons began to circulate, many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, impossibilities. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being impossible. But I began to search for information about dragons. Where had they gone all those years ago? And where were they coming from? So what do you need me to do? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone, said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Anything you can tell me about Bleak Falls Barrow? An old tomb, built by the ancient Nords perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. How do you know this stone tablet is in Bleak Falls Barrow? Well, must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't we? I have my sources. Reliable sources. Are you the only wizard in Whiterun? I believe I am, yes. Technically speaking, of course. The city is also home to a priest, priestess, an alchemist, and I'm sure others who practice. Ah, that reminds me. Speaking of alchemists, I have some frost salts for Arcadia. She asked me to obtain them for one of her potions. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts for me? I'm sure Arcadia will provide some form of recompense. I'll deliver the frost salts for you. Good. You're clearly better suited than I am to carry out such a menial task. You know, this if you've got the aptitude, now. you should join Anything the Anything we can use to fight this dragon, or dragons, we need it quickly, before it's too late. Of course, Jarl Balgroof. You seem to have found me an able assistant. 
I'm sure he will prove most useful. Succeed at this, and you'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your debt. I alone have been anointed by the night to spread his Got a pretty full stock of potions and alchemy reagents. How do you feel? I think you might be sick. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. You look rather pale. Could be ataxia. It's quite a problem back home in Syria. I sell cures for all ills. I have several elixirs for sale. I have some frost salts for you from Farangar. Ah, splendid, splendid. It's for a special brew I'm working on. A love elixir like none other. Maybe I'll test it on Farangar first. Oh, but I suppose you expect some compensation. Um, here. These potions should suffice. What have you got for sale? Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Mm-hmm. Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Nothing? And what of my son? Hmm? The Jarl has finally agreed to send you back to Riverwood. Yes, House Court. We leave immediately. It's just us against the dragon. Is that it? I can't afford to send anyone else. And we don't know where the dragon is. Your main job will be to keep an eye out and get the people to safety if the town is attacked. I don't expect the three of you to fight off a dragon by yourselves. But I do expect you to do your duty. Of course. We'll keep Riverwood safe. We can count on it. Let's move out. Time's a wasted. Tools, wares, and weapons. All for sale at fair prices.
I'd stay away if I were you. Why? I'm on my way to a giant camp, and I can't guarantee those beasts won't think you're part of the offering. Keep your distance, and you shouldn't have anything to worry about. What are you offering to the Giants? The cow, of course. Others do it differently. But I found that an annual offering usually keeps the Giants away from our livestock. Some think it's superstition, but I believe it works. I've yet to have a Giant kill any of my livestock. And the paint on the cow? It's tradition. We mark the animal as a way to let the Giants know we're giving it to them willingly. Sort of a peace offering. Good luck. Thanks. You take care of yourself now. Add some firs and tree branches, paint them white, and then tie them to stump. Instant frostbite. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. Think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Orgnar. Orgnar, are you listening? Hard not to. The ale is going bad. We need to get a new batch. Did you hear me? Yep. Ale's going bad. I guess you don't have potatoes in your ears after all. Just make sure we get a fresh batch in soon. You're that visitor been poking around. I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Yes?
Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Yeah, well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Did something happen? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a, a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. I could help you get the claw back. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. So this is your plan, Lucan? Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Uh, no, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. We have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. I wonder why they only stole Lucan's golden claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. This way.
ain't this a surprise. What you want, huh? Fight! Everybody pushes me around. Well, no more! to your own kind. Are you truly ready to die? I'll try and make this quick.
I'll show you what a real orc can do. You're nothing! You won't get the I best of me! Oh. Oh. I can take you. What you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do? Start running, so I can stab you in the back. Everybody pushes me around. Well, no more. This what you want? No, not your coin. Can I die for that? Remember. Hit the one in the middle. Ah! Ah! Oh, just die already! I'll get you!
you're just supposed to fear when Arvid runs off with that gold dog. That dark elf wants to go on ahead. Better than us, please. Huh? Ah, found you! By Ismir! You'll be I cannot best you! Ah! No! You're a fool to test me. Last mistake. Time to end this little game.
Time to end this game. Someone coming? Is that you, Hotnir? Bjorn! Soling! I know I ran ahead with the claw, but I need help. Okay, sir. Don't 
Don't leave me for Arke's sake. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. You, over here. You did it, you killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Where's the Golden Claw? Yes, the Claw. I know how it works. The Claw, the markings, the door in the Hall of Stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Fine. Let me see if I can cut you down. Sweet breath of Arke, thank you. It's coming loose. I can feel it. You fool. Why should I share the treasure with anyone? Thank <laughs> you. 
forces.
hurry up and tell Lucan you have the claw. He'll be so excited. Show those thieves not to steal from Lucan Valerius. I have the golden claw. You found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. What have you got for sale? Take a look. Till next time. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. Think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Excuse me, sir. I don't normally do this, but, um, have you got a moment to talk? Are you trying to flirt with me? Flirt? Uh, no, I, uh, that wasn't my intention. Not at all. I just meant I have a proposition for you. Sounds like flirting to me. No, not that kind of proposition. I, I meant I'd like to do business with you. Not like that. Can we start again? Sure. Hello there, what's your name? Oh, thank the divines. Right, let's have another go. <clears throat> My name is Lucian Flavius. I'm a scientist, philosopher, amateur wizard, and something of a musician, though I suppose that's more of a hobby. I couldn't help noticing that you seem... How can I put this? Well acquainted with the less savoury side of Skyrim? I've seen a thing or two. Do you need help with something? As a matter of fact, I do. I'm here in Skyrim on an expedition, academic mainly. I find the province simply fascinating. The flora, the fauna, the ruins, both Dwemer and Nordic, the architecture, the politics. Trouble is, I'm really not much of a fighter. I know a few spells and can just about swing a sword, but beyond that, I'm pretty useless in combat. Skyrim's no place for a milk drinker like me. Not on my own, anyway. So, I'm looking for someone to travel with. Go on. I suppose what I'm asking is, would you awfully mind if I tag along? I will of course compensate you most handsomely for putting up with me. How much are we talking? Oh, shall we say 300 septims up front? After that, I'll top you up every time we come across something useful to my research. At your discretion, of course. No obligations. Save that you take me with you, and assist in keeping me alive wherever possible. Sounds like a deal. Oh, splendid. Here's your gold. This is going to be quite the adventure. It's a pleasure to meet you. Lead on. Need something? <laughs> 